Have you ever pondered about the lesser-known resistance movements around the world? Today, we delve into the history of the Bangladesh Kuki Chin Army, BKCA, and their unwavering fight for autonomy. Bangladesh Kuki Chin Army, often abbreviated as BKCA, is an under-recognized but vital group that has been part of a long-standing struggle for autonomy. Born from the spirit of the Kuki Chin people, the BKCA sprang up in the latter half of the 20th century, with its sibling organization, the Kuki Chin National Front, or KNF, trailing closely behind. The origins of these groups are deeply anchored in the history and culture of the Kuki Chin people, a society with a rich heritage that outdates many contemporary nations. The Kuki Chin people originate from the mountainous regions of Bangladesh, a land of staggering beauty and cultural variety. However, their homeland has been a hotbed of conflict and turmoil. The Kuki Chin, similar to several other indigenous groups, have been embroiled in fight, not merely for their territorial rights but for the preservation and acknowledgement of their unique culture and identity. The BKCA and the KNF were given birth from this struggle. Their primary goal? Autonomy. The Kuki Chin people, despite their rich history and distinct culture, have often been marginalized, their voices obscured by the roar of larger, more dominant groups. It was to amplify these voices and to fight for their rights that the BKCA and the KNF were created. The BKCA, with its military wing, and the KNF, with its political approach, have been the torchbearers of the Kuki Chin people's fight for autonomy. They have confronted formidable enemies, faced overwhelming odds, and yet their spirit remains unbroken. Their narrative is one of resilience, of a people refusing to be silenced, of a culture resisting assimilation. The BKCA's fight was not just for territory, but for the preservation of their culture, their heritage, and their identity. Their tale is a tribute to the invincible spirit of the Kuki Chin people, and a reminder that the fight for autonomy is often about much more than land. It's about safeguarding a way of life, a unique culture, and a distinct identity. The KNA's aspiration for autonomy was no easy path. It led to a head-on collision with the Bangladesh army, marking the beginning of a tumultuous era. The initial clashes between the Kuki Chin National Army, or KNA, and the Bangladesh army, were far from a mere skirmish. They were full-blown battles, sparked by the KNA's pursuit of autonomy, a pursuit that stemmed from a deep desire to preserve their cultural heritage, their traditions, and their way of life. The Bangladesh army, tasked with maintaining the sovereignty of the nation, saw this pursuit as a threat. The Kuki Chin's desire for self-rule was perceived as a potential fracture in the country's unity. And so, the stage was set for a conflict that would change the course of history for both parties. The battles were ferocious, fought with an intensity that reflected the high stakes for both sides. The KNA, driven by their quest for autonomy, fought with a fervor that only those fighting for their identity can muster. On the other hand, the Bangladesh army, fighting to preserve the integrity of their nation, met this fervor with equal force. The major battles took place in the hilly terrains of Bangladesh, where the KNA, familiar with the landscape, used their knowledge to their advantage. But the Bangladesh army, with their superior numbers and firepower, proved to be a formidable adversary. The consequences of these clashes were far-reaching. The KNA faced significant losses both in terms of manpower and morale. The Bangladesh army too paid a heavy price, with numerous casualties and a strained relationship with the Kuki Chin people. The conflict also caught the attention of the international community, raising questions about human rights and the right to self-determination. The clash was fierce and brutal, leaving a lasting impact on the Kuki Chin people and the Bangladesh army. The battle for autonomy was far from over, but these initial clashes set the tone for the struggle that was to follow, a struggle that would shape the history of the Kuki Chin people and the nation of Bangladesh. Parallel to the Kuki Chin National Army, the Kuki Chin National Front, or KNF, played a crucial role in the struggle for autonomy. Born out of the same desire for self-determination, the KNF carved out its own path in this intricate tapestry of resistance. The KNF was not just a military organization, it was a socio-political movement, it aimed to create a society where the Kuki Chin people could live freely, preserving their culture and traditions, unencumbered by external influences. The KNF's strategies were multifold, encompassing not only military operations, but also diplomatic negotiations, grassroots mobilization, and resource management. 
Their alliance with the Kukichin National Army was a strategic move, a joint force that amplified their voices in the face of adversity. They understood the power of unity, the strength that comes from standing together for a common cause. This alliance was more than just a military coalition. It was a symbol of their shared vision for a free and autonomous Kukichin state. The KNF's significant contributions to the cause cannot be understated. They were instrumental in organizing the Kukichin people, in rallying them behind the banner of autonomy. They worked tirelessly to raise awareness about their struggle, both domestically and internationally. They played a key role in establishing connections with other ethnic groups and political entities, forging alliances that fortified their position. Their efforts were not without sacrifice, Many members of the KNF lost their lives in the struggle, a testament to their unwavering commitment to their cause. Despite the risks, they pressed on, driven by their deep-seated belief in their people's right to self-determination. The KNF's efforts, combined with the KNA's resistance, intensified the movement for autonomy, shaking the very foundations of the Bangladesh government. Their story is a testament to the power of unity, resilience, and unwavering commitment to a cause. It is a chapter in the history of the Kukichin people that will forever be remembered for its courage and fortitude. The fight for autonomy left a profound impact, shaping the lives of the Kukichin people and the political landscape of Bangladesh. In the aftermath of the conflict, the Kukichin people found themselves in a world vastly different from the one they had known. The echoes of battle had faded, but the scars etched deep into the heart of their community remained. The struggle for autonomy had been fraught with hardship and sacrifice, but it had also been a crucible of determination and resilience. The Kukichin National Army and the Kukichin National Front had been the spearhead of this fight. Their legacy, etched in the annals of history, serves as a reminder of their unwavering resolve for autonomy. They had stood against seemingly insurmountable odds, willing to risk everything for the prospect of a better future for their people. Today, the Kukichin people in Myanmar and Bangladesh continue to navigate the challenges of their circumstances. The shadow of the past looms large over them, but so does the promise of a brighter tomorrow. They are a people forged by adversity, their spirit undeterred by the trials they have faced. In Bangladesh, the political landscape has been forever altered by the Kukichin's fight for autonomy. Their struggle has served as a catalyst for change, prompting a re-evaluation of the nation's approach to ethnic minorities and autonomy movements. The legacy of the Kukichin National Army and the Kukichin National Front is a beacon of hope for the Kukichin people. It serves as a stark reminder of their capacity to endure, to fight, and to rise above adversity. Their story is a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, proof that even in the face of overwhelming odds, a determined people can make a difference. The KNA and KNF struggle remains an integral part of the Kukichin people's history, a testament to their resilience and their unwavering resolve for autonomy. The Kukichin people's story is not just about struggle and conflict, but also about resilience and the enduring spirit of a community. Their saga is a testament to the human ability to persevere, to hold on to hope even in the darkest of times. In the wake of their battle for autonomy, we find a community that has remained steadfast in its identity and culture. Their traditions and customs, passed down through generations, remain alive and vibrant today. The Kukichin people's vibrant dances, their colorful textiles, their rich music and their deep-rooted oral traditions continue to tell the tale of their history, their struggles, and their indomitable spirit. But their story doesn't end there. The Kukichin people continue to look forward to dream of a future where their autonomy is recognized, their rights respected. They remain hopeful, working tirelessly towards a day when their struggle will be a thing of the past, a chapter in their history that they can close forever. As we delve into the lessons learned from their struggle, we find a clear message of unity. The battle fought by the Kukichin National Army and the Kukichin National Front was not just a clash of armies, but a unified movement of an entire community. It is a reminder of the strength found in unity, the power that a united front can wield even against formidable foes. Their story also teaches us about resilience. Despite the numerous challenges they faced, the Kukichin people never gave up. They stood their ground, weathered the storm, and emerged stronger. Their resilience serves as a beacon of hope to other communities facing similar struggles around the world. As we reflect on the Kukichin National Army's fight for autonomy, 
we are reminded of the power of unity, resilience and the human spirit in the face of adversity. Nan ekte rangat sang ni pulpli, cibay kan buk nona, kalau meh.